The purpose of this screencast is to give you a nice overview of the teacher access um, part of Skyward. Now again, this is different from the family access. So to get here, you'd have to log in using that special link and ID and password that we're going to send you. So once you log in, you're going to see this screen. So you want to go ahead and click on teacher access. And again, all sorts of fun stuff comes up. I want to focus on my grade book, my students, my classes, because those are the three primary things that you'll need to know about the most. So if you click on my grade book, you'll see that your list of classes comes up and right next to it is a link called secondary grade book. So you can click on any of them. I'm going to pick on psychology here. Now from the grade book, now again, it's pretty bare bones right now. But what you'll see eventually, you see I have one fake assignment in here. All the assignments are going to be across the board in this nice, you know, teal color. So you'll see all your assignments eventually that you're going to include here. Now, what can you do from this screen? Well, you can click on a student's name and see fun stuff about them. So all their assignments, basically all their assignments would be listed. You can see they're missing assignments, report card grades, comments, content grades, all sorts of other goodness here. So you can click on a student, or if you notice, there is a wealth of, of stuff to do across the top here. So you've got all sorts of drop downs. You've got other access. You can see there food service, test scores, busing. As long as information is inputted into those services, you can see that. Uh, your classes, assignments, which I'm going to show you in another screencast on how to add your uh, assignments to your gradebook. So you can add assignments, list assignments. You can take attendance from here categories. What that is, when you set up an assignment, you can actually put categories in there, like you can put your unit names or chapter numbers or something like that, so you can actually look at different categories of assignments. Um, you've got different posting options, lots of different report options here that you can choose from during the year when you've got some grades in there. Uh, again, because everyone loves a good chart, I know I do, oh, you know, you can look at charts of student progress, category averages, and that might be where you, you input categories might be very useful. So you can see category averages per unit, per chapter. Uh, display options, again, you can mess with how things are displayed on your screen. You've got a quick scoring option and then exporting. Okay, so that's just an overview of what you can do in the gradebook. So if you go back, again, it takes you back to the gradebook screen. So if you click on teacher access, you'll go my students next. So click on my students. So this lists all of your students from all of your classes. So here, though, you can search and maybe get some detailed information on just those students. I clicked on a student, and I double-clicked on them, and you can see that you can get tons of info on them, okay, who their advisor is, you know, other information, phone number, student ID, etc. And if you look, tons of information is available over here on the left as well. Okay, so I can go back and that will take me back to the list of students. So again, my students will give you access to all of your students. And by the way, down here, you can search last name. So just type in a last name, and then it will bring up just that particular student, or actually start right there. Okay. So that's my students, and then you can also take a look at my classes. And again, this brings up your classes. If you click over here, what are the class options? So you can see you've got different options here. Attendance, discipline, message center, etc. So you can do all sorts of fun things, again, from this screen. Okay, set up your classroom options. So that's just a brief overview of the teacher access screen and probably the three things you'll be accessing the most, most during the year. Just to get you oriented as to where do I go in this new Skyward system and what do I click on. Really, my grade book, my students, my classes, those are the three things you'll probably need the most at the beginning of the year and throughout the school year.